Hello everyone, Marky Joe 99 here, and we're back with more of the tech. Uh, forgive, it, forgive me if I'm not in much of a good mood today. I unfortunately had to extend the Rage Fest deadline again. Uh, but, you know, I already made a video explaining that. Let's forget about it and go back to generic killing more of these dudes. At least there's a statue of, like, a nun with a gun. Like, look over here. Like, that looks like a nun that's holding a gun. Except the face doesn't appear to actually be there. That looks like... I think that's like a nun if its face was melting. That's what it looks like to me. Something I'd expect straight out of Castlevania, honestly. Also, I'm not doing this, uh this segment with a controller like I usually do. I'm using the keyboard because unfortunately my little brother cannot find the other PS3 controller even though I have two, actually three if you count the PC controller that also doubles as a PS3 controller. Yeah, We like our PS3 controllers a lot as you can see. And I'm also playing really slow. This is terrible. No, you don't punch me! You should not get the right of punching me with your puny little fist that can barely damage me. C come on, get your ass back over here. I got your number. Wee! Oh, hey! Like, differing layers of background. Like, see? They both scroll at a different, like, speed when you move across. Which is actually pretty cool, because, like, in this game, that's kind of rare to have, like, two backgrounds. Two layered backgrounds, at least. I think this is probably one of the only levels that has it, come to think of it. Uh, surprised I can actually come up with things to say, even now. This game is... Well, it's been a while since I've played this game, so maybe that's why. I'm just... I haven't... The boredom hasn't fully kicked in yet. Yeah, look at those... Remember what I said about the green... Green Idea Men just being extremely aggressive. That's a that's a perfect example of it. He was just tossing bombs like it was freaking World War II. Ugh, that was not in bad taste. <laughs> I do hope this level ends soon, because I want to get to the more... I want to get to the last type of Idea Men. If I remember correctly, they're red and they have a rocket launcher. Which is pretty cool, but I don't remember it doing particularly lots of damage. We'll have to find out when the time comes on the next episode of this game. How many times have I recycled that joke? My god. Eventually my commentary will consist of nothing but me pointing out that I have recycled the joke before. And it will be awesome. There we go. I, I gotta say the backgrounds in this level are actually not too bad. I mean, they're still repetitive, but at least you got a little bit of variation. Like, this one's got this weird slanty thing with silhouetted bushes that are covered by some shadow. And, like, previously there was, like, a pillar. Well, a, a series of pillars, if you may. Is this level gonna end? My god, these green guys have become astonishingly common. Oh my god. Using a keyboard is, like, the worst thing for this game. Uh, looks like we still got more to go on this level. Because, if, if you remember in the previous session, I said if you can knock the enemies off the screen on the right, then that means that the level scrolls more. And if they don't, and the, like, invisible wall stops them, then that means that the level's ending. Ah, oh, damn, now I'm getting hit because uh, the keyboard just is not my strong point when it comes to platforming games, or most games. Like, the only games that I play extremely well with a keyboard, well, or, or rather, the, the only games where I prefer to use a keyboard are fighting games. And that's because I got so used to it, uh, because I played Mugen for, like, years using a keyboard. My god, my god. Though, I, I play... I play really well in fighting games uh, with a keyboard. If you were to saw me, if you were to see me playing a, a fighting game using a normal controller, you'd think I was a completely different person. We 
Oh, I got killed by a simple tap in the face! This is a horrible outrage. Also, look, bushes. That kind of look alien-esque because of the shading. Like, look at that pillow shading on that freaking bush. Like, the leaves specifically, they look so pillowy. It doesn't look appealing. And I don't like it. Wait, look at my freaking score! Like, I got the high score in the- this is the maximum score of the game? And I'm not even half- oh wait, never mind. I th <laughs> the moment I saw 999, I was like, well, usually most games end with like 999 for a score. But apparently I was wrong. I am a fool for thinking otherwise. Yes! Time to move on. Oh hey, it's American Made. Hey, useless bitch. And yo- and look! Even more variation in the background. I mean, we even got a tree! When have we ever seen one of those in this game? And, like, this level exploits even more of the, uh... double-layered background effect. That's really nice. I approve. Ba-na-na-na-na. ba na 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 ba na na Yes. I don't know why. I think of bananas so much, but I don't care. This guy is being aggressive. I was singing incorrectly. You're down. All right, let's see if this is the end of the stage. Time to kick one of the enemies over here. Must use the gimmicky trick to ensure things. Yes, it's the end of the level. Okay, good. Let's kick some ass, some American made. Show them true justice with your patriotic fists. And don't get torched while you're at it. Those guys with the flame throwers are not very friendly. Look at her pose. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna freaking mess you up. Like, though, if you look at it, it looks like she's holding her fist up and then, like, rotating it to punch them. Rotating, like, X, what's the word? Not contracting, but extracting your joint to punch them. And that, I don't think that's an effective way to hit somebody. Like, you gotta put your whole body into a, into a punch, I think. Same goes for kicks. Like, I recently watched the Karate Kid 3, and it actually, um... At one point, they explained how to sweep properly. You gotta really put your hip into the into the uh, kick. And it's uh, oh hey, it's Rocky. What? What? No! The glitch does not work here. And why is the art style so different in the background? That's weird. Oh yeah, I remember this level. There is a certain part in this level where there is an instant death trap. You know, just to add slight amounts of variation into the game, they decided to throw in an instant death trap in the shape of what you will see soon. I should just friggin' spam Arthur, but I don't have him on my side anymore. He has betrayed me! Now that I have zero Arthurs to abuse, they have all went on to the dark side. Or rather neutral, since they're not helping me, or deterring me in any way. Oh man, I like I like the uh, green idea of the men the best. Like putting aside the fact that they're the most difficult to deal with, they also got really good class when they are in their standing pose with their weapon. They're like, yeah, we walk straight. We're gentlemen. All right, where is it? There you are. Yeah, that thing right there, instant death. And it really doesn't make any sense why it instant deaths you. It like grabs you by your leg. And unfortunately, despite the enemies being able to step all over it, it doesn't kill them. So, like, you have to deal with that obstacle being there the whole time, and that's slightly annoying. It's slightly a nuisance. My god, slightly a nuisance. That's, like, even worse than not being a nuisance at all. Do-do-do. Oh, the game's lagging. All right. Be right back cool. I really don't like these keyboard controls, but... And I really don't like how, uh... Camtasia just 
does that laggy thing, but you know what? It's better than using Snagit. Lately, Snagit has just been a complete asshole to me. And it's not making me a happy person. Uh... Which, by the way, you probably noticed by the significant lower quality of my recent Fire Emblem video that I was using Snagit to see if it would, you know, not be a dick. And unfortunately, if that video is anything to go off by, it wasn't. Like, whenever the... Whenever things scrolled, it had it didn't look good. It looked weird. Wait, what the hell? Yes! 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 <laughs> Go, my bear child! Attack the enemies! Attack them for great justice! Come on, doofus! Attack him! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, you got him with your butt! Yes! By the way, those thighs are anatomically incorrect! But I don't care! I have a bear on my side! What's there to complain about? Aside from the enemies just constantly hitting me. Yes, this will be the highlight. This will be the highlight of this part. The bear. This is just the epitome of greatness. And now I shall stop bragging about it. Because chances are the bear's not gonna do anything. Except that. I was wrong. The bear has proven me wrong. He is more wise than he lets upon. But look at that! These guys are fucking, like, trying to mess with that bear. Guys trying to burn his fur? Fuck that! Bear's got your number! That's how I like it. The name's Bear. James Bear. Ugh. Bad. Bad Mark. Bad. You should not be making jokes like that. Once again, I complained about my occasional pop culture references, because I hate pop culture references, but I I unintentionally do them. Alright, let's see what's over here. Up, oh, up, oh, graphical problems. Now he's Ice Bear. The sacred one. The sacred Ice Bear. With inverted shading. <laughs> and his face is like... Let me look at that. His face, like, his face is not even recognizable anymore. It's like a pink thing. Oh! There we go! Rocket Dude! What's up? Wow. That was incredibly not threatening. But still, Rocket Dude, he uses, like, a giant pocket knife to shoot stuff at you. And that takes care of the forehead. He's down. Yeah, I didn't feel like fighting him. I like to consider him the butt. Well, what do you know? Then he decides to be a chapter CG. Destiny is a cruel mistress, Arthur. Uh, but yeah, I don't really like fighting him because he's boring. And he fights exactly like the weird nose dude. And on top of that, like, I like to consider him the butt monkey of my- of this LP. Like, he'll never get a decent fight with me, ever. He'll just always get his ass kicked. That will be part of the humor of this LP. Ah! Damn! Frickin' Ninja Iron guys. I mean, Idea Men. Why do I keep calling them Iron Heads and stuff? They're Idea Men! They have ideas, such as constantly coming in and stampeding me with their artillery. Wow, this screen is surprisingly small. And you will die. Uh, the red guys basically have the same amount of HP as the green ninjas in the first arc of the story. But that doesn't really make them all that more threatening. They're probably... They're probably just as threatening as most of the other idea men. Like, the only one that really stands out to me is the green one, because unlike the other ones who just have a generic projectile tech, the green one actually throws bombs that are really annoying, and he has a projectile, so he, like, doubles in badassery. He will be the hero of one video game. That will be his redeeming trait. He'll just be the hero of one game, and then, yeah. 
Yeah, you can tell I'm running out of ideas. Though, I think I said that, like, in a previous part. Everything I've said so far has probably been said in the previous part, except for the damn bear! My god. My god, that was great. And that is the reason why I am happy. I am a happy mark. Once again, saying the same things over and over again. That is what I desire from life. To repeat myself constantly. I repeat myself very often in real life, though. Like, I have this weird thing where I think people don't under like didn't understand what I mean what I meant the first time, or they didn't hear it. So I constantly find myself repeating myself just to make sure they did. I don't know why I do it. I remember having an explanation for it some time ago. It had something to do with my like psychological insecurities or something, but I forgot. It's not really important anyway, but... Why did I do that? I don't know. I'm just gonna just let that one go. I think the forehead, uh, meaning the guy I just fought on the, at the end of the previous stage, um, I think he shows up in this stage too. Which is annoying. Like, they recycle him like 50 billion times. He see, for some reason, this game just loves using him as a boss. Even though he's not a particularly interesting character. He's just got a really enormous forehead and it's obnoxious and inappropriate. It needs to be censored because it's wild and ambiguous. Oh man, stealing a joke from Lewis Prower in a video that I was in with him. Amazing. I couldn't stoop to any lower if I tried. Ooh, who do I get? You- oh, come on! I don't want American Mage, she's boring. I want the ninja guy from the first, like, arc. But unfortunately, he only shows up in the first arc, I think. Which is unfortunate, because he's like the best character. Freaking infinite combo kicking people with his hyper high kicks of death. Boink, boink, wait, 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 I want to get a good kick on you. Kick, 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 There we go. Kick, 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 That was so out of sync. But I don't care. Because I am a man. And men are not programmed to give a shit about anything. Except what they do in the bathroom. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Leave me alone. Oh, this game. Why? Why does any bad game have to exist? I don't know why, it just... It just is. This game leaves such a s such a small impact. It's just so... not there. I don't even know anymore. You know what, I'm gonna try to, like, not talk as much. Actually, you know what? That's a bad idea. Because if I do that, then you have to deal with the actual footage itself. And that'll just make you bored, or for the more sadistic of the few of you, you'll just keep watching and not care even though you're extremely bored. Which is something I do when I'm watching LPs. Like, if I'm bo even if I'm bored to death, I'll continue watching just because I like the person who's LPing it. <clears throat> But yeah, I, I don't want to shut up during this LP. If I do, then, you know, that's that just leaves you with gameplay footage. And this game is the least, the most uninteresting game ever. I, like, even E.T. is more interesting than this. Because at least E.T. has variation. Something happens. And this, it's just long, tedious, and repetitive. And... Long. Very long. It leaves an impact from its sheer length. Like, I think we're more than halfway through the game now. More, like, slightly more than halfway. And that's counting the first arc of the game. Alright, what's up? More enemies. Good. This is fantastic for my resume. Like... If the tech were to apply for a real job, 
he'd probably get any job by saying, I've defeated a thousand generic enemies constantly for like five years. And then the person would be like, wow, this guy has endurance and stamina. I like him. He has ambition. He's going places. The Tick, you're on the crew. And then the Tick will, you know, become an artist and just draw, like, the most blandest picture and say, this is the Tick for the Super Nintendo. Or rather, my inner feelings about it, how I feel it is as a whole. As expressed through my good friend, Marky Joe 1990 Wow, I'm dying. This is bad. Well, I have like 50 billion continues, so... Doesn't really matter anyway. I have, Actually, you know what? I have like four. Ah, yeah, I think it's four. I started it with four... Oh wait, that's right, I used the, the uh, level select, so that probably means I have only two. I don't know. I, I, I really don't. Believe it or not, after you do the, uh, the, like, teleport thing, you can go back and set your lives and continues and stuff, but I didn't know that, so now I'm stuck with the normal amount of, like, whatevers. I don't know. I really don't. <laughs> uh, level, please end. Please. And for the love of God! Oh, I got it wrong. No, that... Oh, now the game's lagging for real now. This is sucky. This is very sucky. If it's this very sucky, just like a penis. It's so sucky, you just want to suck it all over. Except I'm not gay. I'm straight, by the way. Occasionally I've been by curious you know, wondering about what it would be like having a relationship with another man, but the concept just does not click with me. I like women. I like tits. I like ass. I got. I like pussy. And I especially, especially like very long hair. And this episode will be weighted for next time. Good day to all of you people.